the standard addresses students understanding the lawmaking process at three levels of government. However, we addressed the local level because they had previously addressed throughout the year the federal and state level. First, we took a look at the organization of our local government. Then, after that, we took a look at the agendas and the minutes from city hall meetings. And what they were supposed to do while they were looking at those agendas was taking a look specifically at some of the ordinances that have been proposed and passed by the city council or the commission. Then they got an idea from that as to what types of laws are passed at that local level. Now we could go back as far as 1996, but let's look at, at some recent proposed ordinances. Now what I'd like you to do is you're going to find introductions of ordinances, read through it, and some of it's technical language, so you have to use those context cues on each side of the words that you may not understand. Share with the person next to you what type of ordinance um, you read about and you found. 224 East 6th Avenue used to be um, the site of a f former fire station that has been approved for Talcor Holdings Incorporated. Um, the commission is making walking safer and is putting parking for buildings in the back. Once we were done sort of looking at some of those archives, the student then had to brainstorm and come up with ideas to propose to their own commission, which comprised of four really randomly chosen students who comprised the mayor and then the four additional commissioners. The curriculum is very microscopic. It's very much involved with them being able to participate in society as a, as a active citizen. I want you guys to brainstorm in pairs ideas that you would want the commissioners to consider for a new ordinance. More tourists and making more money for the city and then we'd have like more money for like schools and um, other businesses in Tallahassee. My idea was about being gangs and like stopping gangs and his idea was having cleaner streets and a new outlet mall. To bring more activities to Tallahassee um, so we can have more tourist people. What was great was that the students took the cue from the agenda, from what they read online, of the ordinances that had been proposed and modeled their ideas after what had been done at the local level already. The fact that I was able to see that students were mimicking what they had read, that told me very confidently that they understood the differences between making a law at the national level, state level, and local level because they weren't talking about passing laws about emissions and they weren't talking about passing laws about health care. They were talking about very specific land ordinance laws. That's what they read and then that's what they retained and that's what they presented to their own mock commission. My overarching goal is always to make sure that I can have 130 students leave my classroom at the end of the year being civically literate. Now, this year, with the Florida standards, I had that added component to making sure that not only were they civically literate, but they could apply it in very real world experiences. And it's not necessarily, we need a new skateboard park. It's things that they may have heard when they're eating or having informal conversations with their, with their families. These are community issues that the kids are able to translate into, into sophisticated, nuanced understandings that sometimes we miss. In these classes, it teaches us why, is, why the government's doing this, how it works, the legislative, executive, and judicial. So it'll help us later in life and work and just regular life. Local government, it's, it's, well basically it's where you live, so you kind of want to know what's going on in your, where you're living. When like we grow up, we might be commissioners or mayors, and we know, we need to know how the world works and stuff, so it's very important. Like for my mom, she works for the state, and she had to learn a lot of stuff, and she's trying to teach me too. I bring the parents into the process through the students. 
if I can get the students excited, they come home and they talk about what they learned in civics class and how they can contribute to their society, and they share that over the dinner table or wherever they meet with their families, students can get involved in government at their ages. They don't have to wait until they're 18 years old and they can vote. I want them to, a year from now, two years from now, 10 years from now, be able to recall how to participate, or at least have the courage to participate. The access to information is always gonna be there, but they've gotta have the courage to participate in society and, and really contribute to each other as well as participate in their government. We can do this!